We're continuing our discussion now with slide 10, still talking about epithelial. This broad category that we're getting ready to talk about is Roman numeral 1, simple epithelial. This picture here is what is known as simple squamous, and that means like flat cells. They're almost circular, and here you see the type that it is, simple squamous. It's the most common type of epithelial. You'll see it um, all over the body in the kidney filtering areas, lung air sacs, heart linings, blood vessels, etc. Um, it does do several things um, like diffusion and filtration, secretes lubricating substances. A lot of times it's things that may seem a little yucky, but things like mucus, for example. The second type of um, shape that we talked about earlier was cube-like epithelial. So this is simple cube or simple cuboidal. It is uh, basically a single layer of cube-like cells. They're very spherical. And if you look at them up close, there are a few that do look very cube-like, like little boxes, if you will. And that's what we're talking about here is cube epithelial. These secrete and absorb, and they're found in these different parts of the human body. The third type of simple epithelial tissue is known as simple columnar. And basically, this is tall column-like cells. And you can see here, they're very long and tall. And sometimes they have little hairs on them called cilia. These are similar to microvilli, but they're much smaller. I mean, excuse me, cilia are larger than microvilli. And these wave and move, and sometimes they move substances along. The waving cilia, you see my fingers here, the waving cilia have mucus on them, and they'll wave mucus or different products along on those cilia. Sometimes these are also referred to as goblet cells because they take on a long shape much like a water or wine goblet. The function of these cells is shown here and here's the different locations. If you see this type without hair that is what is known as non-ciliated and they're found here in the digestive tract, gallbladder, and ducts of some glands that we have in our body. If you see the type shown here with hair, also known as ciliated, then ciliated types are found in the bronchi of lungs, uterine tubes, and some regions of the uterus. Now for slide 13. We're still talking about simple epithelial, but this is a little different. This is known as pseudostratified. Can you think of what pseudo might mean? It actually means appearing other than it really is. It's maybe got a false appearance. It looks one way, but it's really not. Actually, this is something that looks like it might have several layers. A layer here, a layer here, a layer here, a layer here. But it's not. This is one layer. It's just layers. It's a layer of varying height. Now, this is a beautiful ex example of cilia. Look at those hairs on there. Gorgeous shot of that. So again, still in the simple epithelial classification, responsible for these things here. And these are the different locations for both the hair type and the hairless. That concludes slide 13.